chapter 26, verse 23, it says, A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man, but a godly woman is given to him that feareth the Lord. Okay? All right, so, you know, Potiphar, he was a damn heathen anyway, and his woman was wicked anyway, so, you know, they was perfect together, but she wanted to bring down Joseph, okay, but Joseph refused her, and he said, why, why would I do this to Potiphar, even though Potiphar was a heathen, so even, that, that goes, there's no gray line when it comes to adultery, man, so you brothers, man, all right, I don't care if the woman Say it's a Jake woman, she dealing with one of these heathens. You don't mess with her. Or say it's a Jake man, he dealing with a heathen woman. You don't deal with her. It doesn't matter, okay? The only the only qualification you can deal with a woman is if she's single, man. Okay, she got no husband and no boyfriend. Okay, you could deal with her. Alright? Outside of that, negative. I don't give a damn, man. Okay? No. Alright, because then you're going off. Alright. So back to um, Genesis 39. Well, no, let me get Romans real quick. I didn't want this to be longer than it's supposed to be, but, you know. Romans 7 and 1. Know ye not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law, how that the law have dominion over man as long as he liveth. For the woman which have a husband is bound by the law to her husband so long as he liveth. But if the husband be dead, she is loose from the law of husband. Meaning what? Okay. Potiphar's wife, all right. The only justification for Joseph to deal with Potiphar's wife is if Potiphar was dropped dead. If he was dead, then it would be all right. But she's not dead. So she still belongs to Potiphar. Therefore, she's not free from the law of her husband. Okay. Verse 3. So then if while her husband liveth, she be married to another man, she shall be called an adulteress. What they mean, married? Married means to be joined together. All right. How, how the two are joined together or become one flesh through the act of sex. So if a, if a man has his woman, as long as long as that man is with that woman, she can't deal with another man. Okay, otherwise she'd be called an adulteress. But if her husband be dead, she is free from that law, so that she is no adulteress, though she be married to another man. Okay. So that's why Joseph made this statement back in Genesis thirty-nine. And verse 7, And it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast her eyes upon Joseph. And she said, Lie with me. But he refused, and said unto his master's wife, Behold, my master walked not what is in, what is with me in the house, and he hath committed all that he hath to my hand. There is no, there is none greater in this house than I, neither have he kept back anything from me but thee, because thou art his wife, how then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? And it came to pass, as she spake to Joseph day by day, that he hearkened not unto her to lie by her or to be with her. Okay? So he totally, he totally disconnected from this woman. Okay? Alright? So, say, say you... For you brothers, say you at your job or whatever you're doing, and you you inquire and you end up finding out, okay, this woman has a man, or you know that woman has a man, all right, and she roll up on you talking like this. Well, you know, you look so good today, and oh yeah, and oh maybe we should maybe you should come over, or maybe we should you know do it. No, you shut that shit down, man. You shut that shit down like Joseph did. He refused. To talk to this woman, to hearken to her when she was talking all nice to him. She was doing this every day when she saw this dude. You don't entertain that, okay? He didn't lie next to her. He didn't even be to be with her. He avoided any type of situation where he had to be around the woman. 
have contact with this woman either physically or even have a verbal conversation with this woman. He totally disconnected himself from this woman because he understood where this woman was coming from. So if you encounter any woman like that, all right, you need to remove yourself from her, man. Don't or avoid her as much as possible because if it's at your job, I mean, you got to work. But you don't entertain her, man. Or you don't entertain them thoughts, man. Because you can get your ass caught up. Alright? And you avoid the appearance of that. Okay? That's what Joseph was doing. He was avoiding the appearance that somebody might say, Oh, man, is Joseph dealing with Potiphar's wife? You know? Because even if you're not dealing with her, but yeah, it, it looks like you appear that you might or something like that might be happening. That can cause rumors and that can start up a whole bunch of shit. So you just avoid the appearance of evil, okay, or, or dealing with this woman, all right? Genesis 39 and 10, and it came to pass, as she spake to Joseph day by day, that he hearkened not unto her to lie by her or to be with her. And it came to pass at this time, that Joseph went into the house to do his business. Alright, so Joseph was going in the house like he would normally do to work. And there was none of the men of the house there with it, there, there within. Okay. And she caught him by his garment, saying, Lie with me. You know, you, you might see this in like movies like um fuck, what kind of movies is this? You know, like uh well, that's a bad example, because in Soul Food, a nigga end up smashing that woman. Because she had, she, she had grabbed all hold on him and stuff. But she was bold enough to physically roll up on this dude and grab him by his clothing and was going to rip his clothes off and take it from him, man. Okay? This is a wicked-ass woman, man. And you got, especially these women today, man, they be so fucking bold with it, man. They would do some shit like this. Hell, some of these women, they so bold, they will like roll up, grab your uh, your stuff. Some of them might pinch your ass, you know. These women are, are totally out of order, man. So you got to be on top guard, man. All right? Saying, lie with me. And he left his garment in her hand and fled and got him out. Now... I know the majority of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American men, which are Israelites, if you was in a situation like this, like Joseph, the mass majority of you would have just fell for it and went all in, okay? You got this woman, she want to she wanna have sex with you. Nobody's around, because it was, remember, there's no man around, so who, who would see him? You know, that's how niggas think. Joseph knew that the, the Heavenly Father would have saw him, and he understood that if he dealt with this woman, that's wickedness and that's a sin against the Most High. So what did he do? She ripped his clothes off and he ran from this bitch, man. Butt ass naked. He he got far away from that woman, man. You know, I don't know if he'll ever get that extreme with brothers, but this is an extreme extremity right here where a woman will literally rip the clothes off of a man that she knows she ain't supposed to be dealing with. And him being righteous, he got away from that woman, man. Alright? Okay, even if he was butt-ass naked, he ran from that woman. Okay? And she caught him by his garment, saying, lie with me. And he left his garment in her hand and fled and got him out. And it came to pass when she saw that he had left his garment in her hand and, and was fled forth. That she called unto the man of her house and spake unto them, saying, See, he had brought in a Hebrew unto us to mock us. He came in unto me to lie with me, and I cried with a loud voice. So she made up a story, okay? And I don't give a damn. And then that's another thing, man. If you reject these demonic ass, adulterous bitches out here, and I'm going to use that term, some of these bitches will. Oh, nigga, you gay. Nigga, you, you, you gay. Well, you turn down all this, you gay, nigga. Well, you know what? You tell that bitch, well, you know what? I know I'm not, I know I'm not a homosexual. I'm not gay. But I ain't gonna do this, man. Okay? 
Alright? And let that bitch say whatever she want. But you know what? The Most High will justify you, man. If you do the right thing. So this bitch lied on Joseph. Okay? Because she got hurt, man. And I don't give a damn who the fuck it is, man. If, if that bitch is... If she got a man, she trying to press up on you. You turn that bitch down. Chances are that bitch gonna start some rumors about you. Like like she did with Joseph. Like Potiphar's wife with Joseph. Or, or she, she gonna do everything in her power to uh to slander you and make you look bad but you know what the most high is going to turn around for your good all right if you do the right thing and, and he going to bring shame and reproach and and disgrace on that wicked ass bitch man all right cuz I, I i i tell this story i was in college and um i don't, I, I don't know if the girl was a jake or not but this girl, uh, she must have thought I was attractive or whatever, but I wasn't paying her no attention like that. 